everyone. I wanted to do a quick video because I was so excited because I got a Sunday mail call. Five out of the seven Rebels figures I ordered from GameStop arrived. I ordered the GameStop bundled and paid 134 for seven figures, saving 16 if I would have bought them all individually. Yes, Zeb is totally out of the box already. I couldn't wait. Zeb is number one in the newly renumbered Black Series boxes. Chopper's number two. Ezra's number three. Someone's number four. Hera is five, Sabine is six, and then either Kanan or Ahsoka would be number seven. So let's take a look at the boxes. And so we're just going to take a close-up look at the boxes. So here is Chopper's box. This looks to be the exact same Chopper from the other Black Series release. But what's really cool about these boxes is they're not a rectangle. So the side art comes off at an angle. So if you just tilt the box a little bit, you could see the art with it. And I really appreciate that this is more like the Marvel Legends art. It's a grayscale up top, and then the purple coloring kind of bleeds into it from below. And down on the bottom, you, it has each figure's name. And here it says uh, Star Wars Rebels, identifying where it comes from. And it has each figure's name in purple. And again, beautiful art on the side. And the back kind of maintains the spirit of the original Black Series boxes. <clears throat> so it does carry the art through, and it does have the Star Wars logo. However, now instead of the big red number, the number is on the bottom corner. So there you can see number two for Chopper. But again, art, Star Wars logo, description, uh, the difference is the numbers in the bottom. And I, I like this too, the, the bright red was fine. It was bold. It was easy to pick up. I always appreciated the grayscale box art in the corner. I, I thought this was okay, but I think this looks way better and it's way more modernized. So I do appreciate the change. The only the only complaint I have is I think it's going to make it even harder for me to unbox these because they look so cool in box. All right, let's take a look. So here's Chopper. So Chopper comes with a blast effect, his third leg, as well as his other leg that he finds that matches his original one later on in the series. Pretty cool. You can see his disc on top of his head. And I think his accessories pop out here just like in the show. Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at Ezra Bridger. Man, these photo real faces are great. It's pretty cool to see how they interpreted a cartoon into a photo real face. Yeah, and this really does look like Ezra to me. I think one of the coolest parts of this figure is his Stormtrooper trainee helmet. That thing is sweet. I hope the lid flips up like it does on the show. He has one of the coolest lightsabers. It's a lightsaber slash blaster. And I cannot wait to get it in his hands and get him out of the box. He looks sweet. You can see Star Wars Rebels and Ezra Bridger. And then there's Ezra's art. That's cool. You can see some of the space whales in the background that he talks to. His lightsaber's glowing, and then the purple's coming up. And then there's Ezra Bridger down at the bottom. And then the back of his box is just more of that art and his uh, description. And then Ezra is number three. Very, very cool. All right, so Zeb's already out of box, but he looked great in it. There's Zeb's art. Again, purple from below coming up into the grayscale art. I think they really did an amazing job with this. Star Wars Rebels, Zeb Aurelios. And then the side of the boxes are all missing the name that used to run up the side. I kind of like that detail, but it's okay. I think this box is an upgrade enough where I don't need to nitpick it. And then there's a great look at the art and Zeb's description. So what's pretty cool is because these are angled, I can kind of fit them all next to each other in, in a semicircle like that. He is a fantastic figure. My review will ask and answer the question, was Zeb worth the wait? And I'm going to say 100%. You got to watch it to find out. But he's pretty sweet, isn't he? All right, Hera Sandula. Her photo real face is phenomenal. My daughter had the original sculpt, and we put them side by side. And it is a major, major upgrade. It's pretty sweet. Although the body looks to be the same. And then you have Star Wars Rebels, Hera Syndulla. Her art is fantastic. Whoever did the interpretation of her did an amazing job. I mean, that that's a really, really cool interpretation of the character. And then it does say Hera on the bottom. And then there's another look at her art and description. And Hera is number five. All right, rounding out is Sabine Wren. So this is one of my younger daughter's favorite Star Wars characters of all time. It's pretty cool if you think about it. Uh, this show came out in 2014, and my daughters were six and nine, respectively. So for them, this was like formative Star Wars. So I really enjoyed watching it through their eyes, and Sabine was by far, along with Hera, their favorite character. And then once Ahsoka showed up, that, that was all over. <laughs> so 
So this art is really, really cool. I appreciate the interpretation, but the face doesn't look like Sabine to me. I think it's beautiful, but I don't know. Does that look like Sabine to you guys, how you would have pictured her? On the bottom, it does say Sabine Wren, and then Sabine Wren, Star Wars Rebels. And one more look at the face. I, I think they did an amazing job on her. And then back of the box, again, is the Sabine Wren art description, and she is number six. So thank you guys for watching. Again, nothing fancy this time. I just wanted to throw this together. For those of you who are like me and are really excited to see the new boxes and to see these new Rebels figures, and I hope this was a cool glimpse into what you guys will be getting. And thank you, GameStop, for getting these to me early. Man, I'm on a hot streak this week. This is sweet. Thanks again, everyone. See you real soon.